Good morning and welcome to the Thursday edition of the newspaper review right here on High Impact Television. My name is Esther Kalu and I'm glad to bring the review to you on the 17th of June 2021. We have on the papers a lot of topics, um, a lot of headlines and we're bringing them to you from across the world in Nigeria. We're starting with the Punch newspaper, the Guardian and the Vanguard newspaper. Then we move to um, Kenya where we have Star newspaper, Standard Digital, and then the College Times in the UAE, Times UK, and the Washington Post. But of course, we have coronavirus updates to bring to you later as we continue on the newspaper review. And I'm not going to have the review by myself in the course of the morning show today. We are going to have a political technocrat join us right here in the studio. But for now, we will take a quick break. And when we return, we'll go to, we'll talk about some of the stories that we have had here, give a robust conversation on it and move on to other papers this morning to stay with us. Welcome back to the newspaper review. We are being joined by Dr. Kayode Adedayo. He is a political technocrat and we have um, some topics to discuss together this morning. Good morning, son. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. How are you today? Very well, thank you. The studio you. looks nice. Thank you very much. But I hope it's not too late for me to say happy anniversary because I have you. Have it is your, not. Uh, it happy is Happy anniversary not. and I wish you the very best. Eh? Very, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much, sir. Yeah. For this morning on the newspaper review, we have seen some topics and it's, I'm glad that you are here with us in the studio so that we have a robust conversation on these particular topics, starting with the constitution here. And then today we have woken up to see that I mean, the senators have dismissed the call for a new constitution. Some Nigerians and groups have asked for a new constitution, rather they are backing amendments. So my question is, have we fully executed the current constitution that we, are, um, that we have presently before we start asking for a new one? You see, are we, are we even put it this way? Okay. Instead of a uh, new constitution and then uh, asking whether we have uh, really uh, done well, with the constitution we are operating now, I put it this way. Is it our constitution that is even faulty? Or those people executing the constitution? Okay. Because we need to put all these things in proper perspective to be able to know whether truly we want a new constitution right. or if we had been able to execute the one we have accordingly. Okay. Now, look at it. The Constitution we are operating stipulates that there should be separation of, of powers. powers. Okay. That is, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. The stipulations there, are they being properly followed? It's a big question. So, are you saying that because the separation of powers is now the situation, is now the issue, and not it's the not age. the only issue. There are a lot of a lot of stipulations there that are being jettisoned. Even even the president, commander in chief of the armed forces, came up with some executive orders as regards independence of the judiciary, independence of the legislature. The, the, the state houses of assembly, and again that of the local government. What have we seen? You see some people saying no. The local government will not be allowed to be that autonomous. That is the governors now. Yeah. All right? And again, you could see that the local government is supposed to be the closest to the people. And when the local government is being uh, 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 stripped of its funds, how do you expect local government to perform? That is an aspect. The other aspect, what are our National Assembly doing as regards that? Because the National Assembly is also supposed to legislate and then bring into focus that separation of power. But because it's not concerning them, where are we today? Independence of the judiciary. 
If the judiciary is not totally independent, tell me, he who dictates, he who pays the piper, dictates the tune. So these are issues that we need to look. Look at our 1963 constitution. What is wrong with it? That is what the Emirates are still using today. And can you compare both political, economic, and social development in the Emirates to that of Nigeria? No. No. We are saying the people operating this particular constitution are not sincere with themselves and with the people. You mentioned the 1963 constitution. Are you saying that we should rather use that what we had in 1963. It's, it's, it's a pity that so many people don't even know the emergence of that, of that constitution. constitution. That okay. constitution, that constitution is a kind of an agreement of relationship between the north, south, and the, the east. And, the east. Okay. and it is on that basis that we had our independence. It's a negotiated constitution leading to our independence. Mm. And the moment, the moment that thing was jettisoned in 1966, by the military government. Then we started having this kind of, uh, 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 the kind of uh, insincere Nigeria that we have today. But that one, this, the North, the East, and the West came together. Okay, if we are going to be a one nation, if we are going to have our independent base of that, these are my needs. These are my aspirations. The North did his own. The East brought their own together. And they were now matched okay. based on negotiation among them. And to that extent, each region were allowed to develop on their own. While we have a very loose federal. But what do we have today? What do we have today? So it is it is beyond, it is beyond writing a new constitution. You can even see, even when they were saying, okay, let us go around and get people's opinion, and somebody was calling, even people that are taking their time to come to their place, that you are a tout. Do you understand? So what do you expect from such a constitution? In other words, and, and just to be sure that I'm not, I'm not misunderstanding what you're saying, the, the constitution right now, is changing the constitution right now isn't as important as changing those executing the constitution. Exactly. It is not changing the constitution. Even if you change the constitution a thousand and one times, I will still have the crop of leaders we have. We still have. In Yoruba, they say, Toma, Jew, or Bessile. Nigba, Igba, Igbi, Pelebela, Mavilele. Knife. Mm -hmm. Throw it up a thousand and one times. Okay. It's, look at the time people were, were, were shouting for, were, were calling for change of service chiefs. Okay. I said, listen, Mr. President, Nigerians, it is not about changing the service chiefs. It's about the president himself changing his notion and then understanding what insecurity is in Nigeria. If you are not ready, if you are not ready to fight it, oh ha, change the service chiefs a thousand and one is the same thing we'll be seeing. Okay, we would move away from that, from the constitutional matter now to the federal law being created um, concerning the statements that we have seen. Now, I saw on the paper this morning, no federal law created grazing reserves now that we have gone into um, insecurity. So there's no federal law creating grazing reserves. A Senate spokesman has insisted that there is no federal law creating um, grazing reserves. And farmers and herders clashes are affecting communities every other time when you look at our constitution as is today yes there's a provision there mm -hmm. that deals with land use act All right. so who who among among the levels of governance does the constitution empower to hold on to lands it's the governor. The governor of each state has prerogative of actions on those lands. That is one. Okay. Two, when you also look at exclusive, concurrent, and residual, and all that, you're going to see that the issue of land is not within the purview of exclusive list. 
Rather, it behoves it on the governors of each state. And when it behoves it on governors of each state, that means the governors will now be acting in advice, as regards the advice being given by the local government. Are you, are you with, are you I, with me? I'm, I'm understanding. And I'm, I'm building a case now. I'm building a case. To that extent, you now see that the local government has a big role to play when it comes to herders, farmers, clashes. All right. Okay? And if that, is, if that is the case, then the local government should be allowed should be allowed real, real, R-E-A-L, in court now, control over the lands within their local government. Okay. And if that being the case, yeah. if that being the case, they should not be stifled with funds. Now, now you... Okay, you, yes, with funds. Yes, but, but if each local, if each states each local community says this is our rule how about borders because sometimes when, when you when you look at the border if we use lagos and ugu for instance when you look at the border you can see that it, it might almost look seem invisible sure yes for so instance if, you should allow bole mm -hmm. where i live and uh, ododu which is also lagos allow bole is ogun do you understand? Yeah. At that bridge, that bridge is their is their boundary. Oh, the boundary. But yeah. when you go to the other side, mm -hmm. uh, Iju Shaga, okay, uh, coming to Rogo. Do you understand? Yeah. And then you now come to uh, what's Ajuwa, right. which is now Ogun State. You understand? Yeah. So you have that boundaries there, but also all those boundaries mm -hmm. are within some local governments in each of those states. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if Ogu State says this is our rule, and Lagos State says this, and those rules are opposing, and we are dealing with we are dealing with animals, we are dealing with cows that can stray. Are we, are we not going to have boundary clashes now, now within local? Let me now tell you, let me now tell you how to resolve it. Where your own right starts, I mean ends. Yes. It's where somebody else's zone starts. starts. Okay. Okay? So if you are grazing. If you are, let's even assume, let's even assume what we there is not though. Let's even assume there are grazing routes. Hmm? Are those routes within somebody else's farm? Okay. Are you are you with me? I'm, I'm those that. routes. Yep. Are they within somebody else's farm? If they are not within somebody else's farm, why should you now allow your animals to stray to somebody else's farm and then destroy all those things? You also mentioned financial um, backing. Do you understand? So, yes. with financial backing, yeah. all those things will be properly monitored. Mm. When, when, when local government is not having enough funds to pay. Ah, in those days, when I was growing up, there are people that they call the Nokere. What does that mean? The Nokere are those, are those PWD workers okay. that are maintaining the roads okay. from, from uh, bo uh, disaligning all those shrubs. All right. All those shrubs from, from straight to the roads. Okay. Do you understand? So you see them in those days cutting all those shrubs and then having a clear way Pass. for uh, 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 traversers okay. of those roads. But where are they today? Who is going to pay them? There's also what we call Wole Wole sanitary officers. Right. Where are they today? Where is the money for local government to pay them? Okay. All those money, mm -hmm. all those monies are being stopped mm. in somebody else's pocket that is not allowing that is not allowing freedom mm. Of, of operations within the local government. Oh, you, so you these know? are issues yeah. that need to be trashed out. Okay. All right. We if 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 people are becoming subjective mm. on such issues, if people are not saying it the way it's supposed, the way it is, there's no way we can we can get a headway. Mm. All right. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm never a supporter of the president. Never a supporter. Okay, but but it's still the president. 
of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, mm -hmm. okay, okay, where I reside. Yep. You cannot put the whole blame of insecurity of Nigeria on him. Mm. He is in Aso Rock Abuja. Yeah. Will he will he be the one will he be the one mm. to be supervising security in my state, Ekiti? He can't go to Ekiti. Now, even if he's in Ekiti, will he go to my local government? Are you asking no. for state policing? Because no. you, you mentioned that he can't come to Ekiti. Quite all right. It's, this one is beyond, it is beyond state policing. It is about sincerity of purpose. It is about sincerity of upholding the constitution you are sworn to, 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 to work with. All right? The governors... The governors should allow the local government to work hand in hand with them by giving them enough funds, by allowing the funds of local government to get to the local government. We've touched, we've touched federal, states, and locals. I want to talk about individuals now, you and I. What can we do? In our own in our own environment in the, to at least contribute to the society. I will tell you what we can do. Let me give this example. Okay. I was somewhere in uh, Vienna, Austria. Okay. All right? I was in my friend's guest house. I would go out in the morning with my briefcase, my jeans, t-shirt, and face cap. I would go out in the morning, do whatever I need to do, come back in the evening. Not knowing that some people were watching me. All right? Not knowing that some people were watching me. On the third day, when I was coming back in the afternoon, this time in an afternoon, I saw a bike just pulled down by my side. He started speaking their language. I started speaking in the Kitty dialect. <laughs> so the guys, I said, hey, not to saw me, boy, you know, the now. That is whatever you are saying, I'm not hearing you. All right. So I will also make you not to hear me. Until he now came back, to, uh, he started speaking in English. What am I saying? Some people within that neighborhood had reported me to the police that they are seeing a stranger around here. Okay. These are his movements that they have noticed in the last few days. All right. Are you with me? Yes. After telling the police, the police did not tell me who had instructed them. So that even if is a criminal. The criminal will not go back to avenge on such people. Okay. Are, are you with me? Now, as individual, it's not that people, it's not that Nigerians are not ready to work with the police. It's not that Nigerians are not ready to work with the police. But you find out that the police will be the one to now tell those people who are reported. At times, you now see the police now telling you, oh, look, come and prove it in our, in our police station. And the thing will now be disrupting that person's uh, itinerary. Imagine you are supposed to be here for 10 o'clock, but you are seeing some strange movement in your own neighborhood where you live. And decide to tell the police. The police will now ask you, oh, you got to come to my station to come and make a, a report. Do you need to do that? When you know, when they even know that you got a working place to be at a particular point in time. Okay, how do they so these are part of the issues. Okay, okay. So because because what you have said now, um, f talking about your experience in another country, feels to me that there is at least some form of technology. No, not necessarily technology. All right. Citizen participation. Okay. Citizen participation. It's just by making a call to the police, and the police will say, okay, which area? We describe and tell the police, and then the police will now go and uh, and uh, stand somewhere and be watching you, okay. and be watching you. At the end of the day, they will accost the person. Can we know you? The guy said, "Excuse me, can we know you? Who are you?" And I opened my briefcase, showed him my passport. I told him what I, what I'm there to do. This is even my host. He made a call to my host. And incidentally, is a known person within within that area. Do you understand? Oh. But here, police will not do that. It is very very few of them that will do that. But so many of them. Why? Because one, recruitment is faulty. Training is not there. Even when they are trained, they are not retrained. Then when it also comes to giving them necessary amenities, it's yeah. not there. Right. They are not well remunerated. Yeah. And a lot of things are wrong there. So okay. it's a kind of a systemic 
break down totally. Okay, we'll pick it up from there when we return from this break. We need to take a breather now. We are having a conversation about the issues that we have seen on the papers this morning. And when we return, the newspaper review continues to stay with us. Many thanks for staying tuned. You are still watching the newspaper review on High Impact Television. And with me, I have Dr. Kayode Adedayo. He's a political technocrat. Yes, Dr. Kayode, we've had a robust conversation. And at least I've heard how I can participate even as, a, as an indigent as to how to um, deal with insecurity. But we have a major insecurity story on the Vanguard newspaper here, where it goes is giving out fresh eviction on the Vanguard. It says, it goes fresh eviction notice. Criminal Fulani headsmen have to vacate Southwest. And also, the governors are also speaking. Um, Yoruba elders, rather, not the governors. Yoruba elders are also speaking on this matter. And I'd like to take the riders here very quickly that says, Ghani Adam 6 UNAU US intervention on killings in in Southwest and Governor's Wives Forum pray against insecurity. So I'm seeing two kinds of requests here. Um, Ghani Adams is seeking intervention from the African Union, from the United States, from the United Nations. Why the wives are praying against insecurity? Yeah, you see, number one, I don't even see any news Okay. in that so-called eviction notice because it has always been on ground that we don't want criminals within our society. Either you are criminal, I mean, arm robbers, kidnappers, this and that, you know? He said criminal ex-men, not, there are two different things. He has already qualified the type of ex-men. Criminals. We want all criminals, not only ex-men, all criminals, including kidnappers that always kidnap for ransom. Including, including uh, 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 killers, uh, I assassin, even political criminals. We also have political criminals. It's all of them that we want out of our society. Two, we don't need any EU or United Nations to assist us. Why? We are here to assist. We can assist ourselves. We have the technical know-how to do that. Let let the government, both the federal and the state, rise up to their billings, to what they have sworn to uphold. The, the security and good living of Nigerians are supposed to be primary to their duties within, within the constitution that they sworn to uphold. So why call it? They, all those people are just laughing at us. Look at these people. Is it, only, is it prayers that we need? Are we, we have to get, God will even look at us that he has given these people everything. See, see the way they are behaving. Let, don't let us put everything to God. No. In the law, but they, go, they serve God now. Where is but they still, <laughs> in abroad. Okay. Sorry, in abroad. All they right. serve God. Yeah. Go and look at their churches. They are not there to build the big, big edifices. No. Because they know what is supposed to be done at any point in time. When you go to bus station, if that bus is leaving five on the dot, God says you, you don't get there uh, 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 449. Five on the dot, the train is leaving. Or like, yeah, things are not working. Let us make our system to work. Instead of making ourselves a lavish stock to, to AU, United Nations, and all that. We have the resources to make our country work. We don't need them to assist us. We can assist ourselves. We can deal with our problems by ourselves. Go to all those areas. You see Nigerians making waves abroad. Look at our footballers making waves abroad. But when they come here, what happens? These are issues. And then they will now say, yeah, go to church. Is it church? It's not about church. I go to church. But everything is not about church. You go to church, you say you want to pass and you are not ready. How will you pass? Okay, Dr. Kayode, we, we would... Meanwhile, aside this... Um, eviction story and um, the insecurity matters in Nigeria because I don't want us to um, dwell so much on that like that's all we have. We also have a, a matter of um, the federal government, the least, the amount of money they've borrowed to generate electricity. I'd like to ask you for the bill lately. They are borrowing to improve 
electricity supply. And the borrowing, according to the papers here, in four years is up to 1.3 trillion naira. Um, how has been your payment, your bill payment of electricity? Nigerians are complaining that the tariffs have gone up. Before, when I buy 1,000, mm -hmm. I normally get about uh, 71 or 74 units. units okay. But now 1,000 will give you like 16.7 uh, units. Mm. You can see that percentage. Okay. You see, borrowing money, borrowing money for self-aggrandizement mm. and hedonistic tendencies of our leaders has not been things that have been going on alone in this government. It has been there since 1999. And we knew okay. all that has been borrowed, especially towards electricity, since then till now. But what have we seen? Nobody should come and deceive Nigeria again that they are borrowing money to improve electricity. They are only borrowing money to improve their pockets, not electricity. Okay, how about privatization? I'm, I'm going the, to... Even the privatization they have done, yes. who have they privatized to? Okay. Is it not to themselves? Okay, so because look at what is happening. Because of the time, because of the time um, slot that we have just for this conversation, I like to bring it to NEPA, PHC, and Power Holding Company, and then to what we have now. I mean, the the TCS. The leopard, the leopard has never changed his skin. They are just changing names. Still the same thing, and even they are even increasing their level of veracity. How do you think that this, just in, in 30 seconds, how do you think that we can resolve this power generation issue because it's affecting businesses in Nigeria? By, by improving mm -hmm. on our system. Okay. There is nobody that has been punished till today mm -hmm. for embezzling money that is not supposed to be embezzled. Yes, they are saying, hey, you have jailed this, we have jailed that. It's a lie. Is a lie. We we had we have reports, sir. We, we have, have reports, and we are going to we're going to um, stick to what we have. We had we, we have Ibori loot. We have not we have not been able mm. to deal with them as we supposed to have dealt with them. Look, you brought up Ibori loot. Mm. Ibori in this country, what happened to him? Mm. Uh, all those cases, what happened to him in court? He was left, he was left now, off the hook. Yeah. But somewhere else. Okay, okay, now, let us come back to Kalu. Kalu, former governor of, of uh, Abia State. Abia State. Yes. He was supposed to be incarcerated. It looks as like going to... But what happened? Dr. He was Kayade. released now. They said technical matter. Dr. Kayade. So those are issues. So what we're going to do is to have this, the conversations on looting as a robust conversation some other time. Because for today, yes, because it looks like we're about to start the newspaper review all over again, but we are actually short of time. So we're going to have to have you back to ha talk about that some other time. A anytime I'll be available Thank for Thank you very much, Dr. Kayode, for My coming pleasure. on the newspaper review. You are still watching the newspaper review and we have had a conversation with Dr. Kayade um, Adedayo, a political technocrat. So thank you for joining us wherever you are watching us from. And you can let us know on any of our social media platforms at High Impact TV and High Impact TV UK. My name is Esther Kalu. Until I see you again, please stay safe. Bye-bye.